one of the items I brought in to share with you today is one of my favorite Civil War photographs from my photography collection. This is an albumin print that was made from a glass plate negative uh, through the wet plate process. And this pho photographic process, the plate had to remain wet or tacky in order to be able to be sensitized, be light sensitive, be developed uh, after being exposed. The negative was made by Timothy O'Sullivan, uh, for who was working with Alexander Gardner. Uh, Alexander Gardner had been uh, working as a photography team with Matthew Brady at the beginning of the Civil War, traveling around taking photographs for him. But uh, by 1863, Gardner had broken away and opened his own studio and had his own team. This particular photograph was taken in June of 18, uh, 1863. After the war was over, Gardner took a hundred of his favorite and his best photographs and he published them in a two-volume book, Sketchbook of the War. And this sketchbook, uh, this particular image appeared in volume number one. In those days, in order to be able to put a photograph in a book, uh, they didn't have the technology to be able to do a halftone, much as we're able to do today for books, magazines, and newspapers. So to put a photograph, an actual photograph, in a book, you actually had to put an actual photographic print into the book. So Gardner's two-volume set contained 100 actual photographs of uh, this size. Uh, as you can imagine, the expense was quite high, uh, so he didn't sell very many of them. Also, a lot of people after the Civil War weren't as interested uh, in the war once it was over. Uh, so consequently, he didn't sell very many, and the two volume sets that remain around today sell for over $100,000. Uh, some books were also broken up and individual prints were sold, and in fact, that is the case with this uh, particular image. Now, one of the reasons why this is one of my favorite photographs is students of the Civil War often wonder what did Confederate soldiers look like in the field? Most of the images we're used to, used to seeing the Civil War soldiers of, from the Confederate side uh, were usually taken in the studio. Uh, as the war progressed, they didn't have uh, teams of photographers following the Confederate Army as the Union Army did. So we, uh, to know what these Confederate soldiers look like, we have to rely on photographs uh, taken of prisoners and also taken of Confederate dead. In this particular case, we have a photograph of Confederate prisoners who were captured in Fairfax Courthouse area in June of 1863. You can see that there's some uh, uh, uniformity uh, amongst the uniforms and also some differences. Uh, Gardner, when he wrote his capture, his uh, caption for this image, mentions that there were some people in civilian clothing that they perhaps were new volunteers or ill regulars who had come out and fought uh, with the soldiers for a short amount of time. But there's a very intriguing aspect of this image because right in the center of the image, when you look at the, the people amongst the, the soldiers, there is a image of a woman. She's slightly blurred. The exposure time probably took anywhere from 10 to 15 seconds, so she moved. But there's a woman in the middle of the line with these Confederate prisoners, raising a very interesting question. Why was she a prisoner? Uh, what crime did she commit? And what, most importantly, happened to her? So, no matter how well we know Civil War photographs, there are still things to be discovered. There are still things to be researched.